Today we will be building a GPT-3 powered chatbot, which is a memory using Langchain. Let's begin the video by demonstrating a complex example, which utilizes a combined memory. In this example, the chatbot will be remembering the entire conversation along with the summary of the conversation as well. This is a combined memory approach. When we run the script, we get prompted with you. I've just typed either let's talk about mem memory and ai chatbots and now we're going to get a response the response is hi there sure i'd love to talk about it okay let's see the memory so far if i type in mem now i have turned on the memory i will continue with the question what approaches has been used in the past and now we get to see the memory it prints out the summary of the conversation right here and also the current ongoing conversation and after that, prints the response from the chatbot, and we can continue the conversation. If I ask a, a question about vectorized text embeddings, as you see, the conversation has been updated. The memory has been updated with the current conversation, and also the entirety of the conversation is updated. To implement this, you'll need to have Langchain and its dependencies installed. I will put the link in the description to their quick start guide, which explains exactly what you need to do. First kind of memory is the conversation buffer memory. This is just a verbatim memory of the ongoing conversation. Here we are doing all the necessary imports and defining our lang large language model as OpenAI's GPT-3 in Langchain framework. Then we are setting our key for OpenAI API. Then here we are defining the buffer memory. I call it the regular memory. And we call the conversation chain class, define the M to be the large language model. Verbose is set to true, so we can see the ongoing memory with each interaction. And then we define the memory as the conversation buffer memory, which we have imported. After that, we create a main loop, and this will just make sure that we continue the conversation going. And we get a user input, and then this is to turn on and off the memory printing in the terminal. And after that, we just get a response and print the AI's response. Let's see this in action. When I run this, I'm presented with an input field. I'm going to start with hi there. And after that, the memory is printing with the prompt that the Langchain already is providing for this type of conversation. And then the current conversation so far is that I've said hi there. AI response, hi, hi, hi there, how can I help you? And I'm asking it about the latest AI advancements and then the conversation is being kept track of. Here is the next response. And then I say, thank you. This is just keeping track of the ongoing conversation. This is what the conversation buffer memory does. Next memory type is the conversation summary memory. It is defined like this. Simple, just saying conversation summary memory. We have to define the LLM to be equal to LLM, which we have defined right here. We open it as GPT. Let me run this. We are again presented with an input box. I'm asking about the mathematical concept called Capricorn's constant. After it explains it to me, I just say thank you. And then we get a summary of the conversation. The human greets AI as, asks about Capricorn's constant. The AI explains that it's a number named after Indian mathematician D.R. Capricorn, which is the result of a mathematical process. Anyway, you can read about this. It's very interesting. So this type of memory keeps track only of the summary of the conversation and only the latest conversation that was going on. So you won't be able to see the full conversation with this type of memory. Next up is the conversation buffer window memory. This type of memory, this type of memory keeps track of the actual conversation, but only up to k many iterations. So in this case, the k is set to two. If we run this, we will be prompted by an input box. Start the conversation with hi there. This is the first iteration. This is the second iteration. So both iterations are kept track. And the third interaction, but now the memory is up to two interactions. When we do the fourth interaction, the, the first interaction have disappeared because the third interaction haven't entered the memory yet. As you can see, previously when we said hi there has disappeared from the memory. This is how the conversation buffer memory works, window memory works. Also, while changing the memory, different mem while changing the two different memory types, you don't have to touch the main loop. This part is only to turn on and off the printing of the memory in the terminal, and this just remains the same. 
Next memory type is conversation summary buffer memory. This approach combines the summary memory approach with the window buffer memory. But instead of using k many interactions, it just uses a mixed token limit. So during the conversation, when the conversation reaches this many tokens, then the previous interactions are deleted and this memory also keeps track of an ongoing summary of the conversation as well. Let's start the conversation this time with, hi there, how are you? And as we continue the conversation, we see the memory of the conversation. And when we do the third interaction, our 40 token buffer has been filled. Previous conversation has disappeared and the conversation so far has been summarized. This is very cool. I would like to mention that summary buffer memory requires the pip install of tick token. It's a tokenizer. Just keep that in mind. Now let's take a look at conversation entity memory. This memory requires some additional imports, which are listed here. This type of memory keeps track of a summary of the topics and ideas that are being discussed in the memory. It could also be people as well. Best way to understand it is to see it in action. Let's start by asking about Paris. And as you see, this type of memory has created a context with a dictionary-like object, which is probably a JSON object, and the key is Paris. So hopefully, in the as the conversation evolves, it should keep track of a key, uh, an um, entity named Paris. And I'm just going to say thank you. And as you see, and I have witnessed this before, that the context clears up. Maybe there's something that I am doing wrong. I will, If you know the solution to this, please let me know in the comments or maybe there is a bug in the Langchain repository i'm not sure but it's just cool that this type of memory exists also it comes with a really hefty prompt you can actually read it as well this prompt is provided by Langchain. final memory type is combined memory to be able to use this first you need to have an additional import right here and we are importing the type of memories which we want to use to be combined Combined memory combines diff several different types of memory types. I believe you can use as many memory types as you like. It's really up to you. In this case, we're going to use the conversation buffer memory, which keeps track of the ongoing conversation, and the conversation summary memory, which keeps track of the summary of the conversation. Here we are defining the type of memories we want to combine. Conversation buffer memory this time takes an input key, and the summary memory is our summary uh, memory conversation summary memory which also takes an input key after that a memory is defined by the combination of both memories and then we define a default template this template i found at the langchain's documentation website it just comes with a long prompt and the summary of the conversation which a history has been added in dynamically and a current conversation and then the human ai conversation prompt after that, we define this prompt, given the history input and chat history lines, as they are going to be involved in the ongoing dynamically updating prompt. And our default template is going to be the default template, which is defined right here. Then we define our large language model. And then the conversation is the conversation chain with these parameters. Let's start the conversation. So as you can see, there is the prompt and the summary of the conversation. There's nothing to summarize currently. The current conversation so far is just us. I'm saying I'm doing well. Tell me about you. And now the summary of the conversation has been updated. This is the human greets AI to which the AI responds positively, asking how the human is doing. And the current conversation is also updated. Let's just say goodbye. And now the both the Summary is updated and the current conversation. So this is how the combined memory works. In this memory underscore type files is the entire memory types and all the imports that are listed. I will slowly scroll down so you can take a look at how it all works. Thank you for watching the video. I've started a Discord server if you want to talk about AI assisted coding and other topics. The link is in the description. Please join and see you in the next video.